Welcome to another episode of Pokemon Let's Play Retrospective. We have enough boards, I think, and our Pokemon are fully healed. Question is, um, how do we deal with Rotom? For Rotom, we need Cut first. Um, the Cut user will be Tropium, obviously. Let's go here. I hope Tropium can learn Cut. It should. Thankfully it can. Uh, depending on... Oh god, why didn't I forget Wilbrand? Never mind, both are useless. We, are, we don't want any encounters anyways. Let's fly to... Eternal City. Let me just think. Um, raise a leaf. If we kill it, that's not a good thing to happen, right? Mm. What move can we use that won't kill 60 base power the uh, silver wind? We, we risk the Omni boost. Which may kill it after all. Hmm. Bullet seed. It's so bad. This should be weak enough. So we teach Tropium bullet seed. And I just realized we forgot to buy some red pellets. Okay, well, let's go back. I'm gonna buy some red pellets. And we switch Tropium to the front because we need. We will start the battle with Tropium. I think 9 a.m. should be. Was it p.m.? I keep mixing it up. I think it's p.m. Um, 20, 21 o'clock. Let's buy about 30 max repels. Should be enough. We already talked about Rotom um, last episode. It's nice if we can catch it. And if it has modest or timid nature or something that boosts speed or special attack without cutting one of those stats. Oh, there is Gardenia. There's Gardenia. Now she leaves. No, we have access to it, uh, to this forest. I think here we can use the weaker repels first. Do we have super repel? We don't. We don't have regular repel. So, uh, let's... It's fine if we encounter some Pokemon because we might talk about one of them. We already talked about the Doo line. Here you can catch obviously Bumpel which can evolve into Beautifly or what is it called? Um, Dust Tox. For in game runs, I think early in uh, the first two gem, uh, three gems after you catch them, I think they are fine, but you, they will probably not stick in your team. Like Butterfree and e and be the real world. And competitively speaking, both are really bad. The, and 
there's a special defensive set you might use. Substitute? Yes, it's substitute. For the stocks. And I think it was Whirlwind. Toxic. Dual screens. Or you can just slap one of its stabs. The stocks is so bad. And let's see what Smogon recommends for the a new tier. Oh, there's a UU set. I think everything has a UU set. Toxic, Roost, Whirlwind and Bug Buzz or Protect. I would probably not use a uh, Dust Tox, but, but I'm reminded that I need uh, to breed a new Dust Tox. Beautifly completely outclassed by pretty much every flying bug type, but it also has a UU set. Um, the bug boss hidden power and shadow ball stuns were a U-turn choice choice item set. Obviously, it, it, there's so much competition. Why would you use these Pokemon if you can just use a good Pokemon? Right now, mm, I can't. S yeah. What is it? Venomorph is probably the Pokemon you want to use. And here it is. For some reason there's a legendary Pokemon music, but... Now we can find out if Bullet Seed will do the, do the trick against Rotom. So here is Rotom. Or oh, Uproar, so we cannot put it to sleep. But we have no moves that can put it to sleep anyways. Bullet Seed. This generation and generation 3, it's it's the weakest move. I don't know why... Why Bullet Seed hasn't been buffed this generation, because now it needs it. In generation 4 it's fine, because... Um, Trico can't learn a good move. Grass type move, nor does. Uh, nor did. Uh, what was it? Shroomish. And the first gym is a uh, rock type gym, and you really needed a uh, stat buff. And the uh, grass type. A strong. Uh, a decently powered grass type move, so that's the reason Bullet Seed was a TM. And in the anime it was shown to be really powerful, but in game it's awful. You don't want to use Bullet Seed. I think this is a decent amount of hits. I hope we don't crit. Imagine we kill it with Bullet Seed. Oh no, it's dead. Well, no. <laughs> okay. I guess that happened. We cannot encounter Rotom until post game. <laughs> I could just reset if I wanted to, but that would just ruin the experience. Um, let's put Infernate to the front. It did switch up. Unfortunate. I was kinda excited to use it, but if it dies, then there's no point to it. And you first we first soft reset it. And what do we get out of this? We have to train it up to for it to be anything useful. Did we beat this guy? No we haven't. We can try to pick up the item that's lying down there. So in the cave there's a strength puzzle. Oh, just, it's not a puzzle, you just use strength and then you can pick up the items there and that's um, rock polish. There's no reason to pick it up I think. But maybe for... Hmm, maybe we can sell it for a good price and...
if we sell it, we might get can t buy some ITMs for Napoleon to boost its stats, or maybe some healing items later on. Let's yeah, let's pick up the items. We cannot surf here because it's under the bridge, so it's not next to the bridge. That's a nice illusion. Oh, level 17, and it's still weak as shit, but we, we just want the money from the dude and pick up the item that's underneath. Next up is Hoot Hoot. I just beat the crap out of this thing as well. And while we are at it, I guess we can talk about Butterfree this generation, right? You cannot catch a uh, Butterfree in this game, if I recall. I, definitely not in-game use. So let's check out Butterfree. What does Smogon say about Butterfree compared to the other um, bug flying type options you have? It has 80 base special attack and 70 speed and because of combo and I sleep powder it has more utility and um, there's a choice scarf lead with double status uh, sleep powder st stun spore and u-turn and bug boss you have the double status lead which is also sleep powder stun spore and u-turn and instead of bug boss you have Protect. The other setter also has protect, but it has max special attack for some reason. And then you have nothing. And um, generally, I think you probably don't want to use the um, um, Morphem or Beautifly. They have better offenses, but um. Butterfree is faster, 70 base speed is not too fast, and it has enough offensive power and I think even a better move pool. What is this? Escape rope. We might use it, but for now it's... It's fine, what's this? A star piece, nice. There's a rare candy in... bags here. Yeah? I think... We can evolve... Um, our EB into a Glaceon, after all, we are close to where we need to go. Uh, let's use another Repel. Yeah, here, if we were to encounter a Pokemon that would be really awful. You got an Ultra Ball. This is probably helpful. We can talk about Beedrill. Be Beedrill, I think, has a niche. Um, you have the Sword Dance set. You probably don't use it, but it's an option. Um, with Break Break... What was it? Uh, Poison Jab and Cross X X is a And the next set would be the Toxic Spike set where you just set up Toxic Spikes. It has U-turn, as I said, can you have U-turn protect an Endeavor because either it can learn an Endeavor. Which is nice and also can learn pursuit. These are just from the head of uh, top of my head. I don't know what Smogon has to offer. And we can check it out. I will check it out after we get out of this cave. Or get to a boss fight or whatever. 
Oh, I don't remember this part of Mount Cornet. Oh wait, this is the exit. <laughs> Oops. I remember this part of Mount Cornet. I'm sorry. And this is the area where you can catch Reggie Eyes. Why not talk about Reggie Eyes? Reggie Eyes is worse this generation compared to generation um, 3 because. Let me find something here. Yeah, a PP up. Well, my instincts are really good in this area, it seems. Don't need to repel that much here. Uh, for now, we just need to walk past her. Okay. Let's talk about Beetle real quick. Let's check if Beetle has anything else to offer. I think I mentioned the Sword Dance set. Uh, Smogon also recommends Baton Pass, but you need Pokemon XT to do that. Oh, Choice Scarf set, which has U turn, X as a break, break, Poison Jab, or Pursuit. Another Baton Pass set with Baton Pass Agility or Sword Dance, Substitute, and X as a. Uh, the toxic spike lead and nothing else. Let's smash this duck to smithereen. And um, red giants because we passed the cave. Uh, also a UU set. Um, defensive set burst defensive tank set? Okay. Top and um, Thunder Wave or Toxic. Bolt beam coverage with ice beam and thunderbolt or charge beam and seismic toss for some reason. Uh, let's let's beat up this duck first. Um, rest talk set with bolt beam coverage, a life orb set with a lot of speed investment for some reason with ice beam, thunderbolt, explosion or rock polish and focus blast. I think that's a uh, rock polish set would have been more accurate. I think a rock polish set would work wonders in this generation. Mm, how do we handle Rapidash now? Let's switch to Xenostat. And while I'm at it, let's talk about Reggie Rock. Um, Reggie Rock, like all the Regis are pretty weak this generation, but I think Reggie still got a lot of mileage. And being a rock type means you already have stealth rock in your arsenal. And offensive tank Reggie Rock has stealth rock, stone edge, um, earthquake or thunder wave and explosion. With cost of berry if you want to have a one turn priority, which is nice. Oh no, we got burned. As a especially defensive stealth rock set is also nice with rock slide and um, toxic or thunder wave and protect or explosion or earthquake. This is a rock polish set, <laughs> I guess ma it makes sense. Rock if rock polish rage steel is a thing, rock polish rage rock makes also sense. The stone edge, earthquake, and ice punch or explosion. A lot of explosion shenanigans going on here. And the Vesa support set, which I like because Heat Rock, unlike, uh, yeah, it's like Regis Steel is more the rain setter because rain sets off fire type damage, so it's neutral. And Heat Rock sets off fire type damage for Regi Rock. Sunny Day, Stealth Rock, Stone Edge and Explosion. And um, Reggie Rock can also learn a Fire Punch, which it can benefit from if you find a slot for it. And I think um, Explosion and Stone Edge do the trick in Stealth Rock. Because you want to get in your um, Rain Sweeper as soon as possible. 
Hey, you're a sun sweeper, not rain sweeper, what am I talking about? Yu Yu has a tank set too. It also has the mono attack and curse rest talk set. With rock set that as his attacking move. The physical choice band or a life orb attack with stone edge, ice punch, explosion and earthquake. Also a rock polish set. <laughs> You can't have enough rock polish. And they also recommend a sunny day set. Let's just switch into tropium. Tropium should be faster than right M Sudowoodo. But we would never know. Let's slap it with some razor leaves. Um, OU also has a curse set, but this curse set ha has the option you to run. Rest talk or you replace it with earthquake, but it's a useless chest to bury. Now can we fully heal our team somewhere? I think that's our resting place. Which we really need. Because we are slowly running out of juice. Revive, this is good. This guy, is there anything hidden? No. I guess we have no choice, let's engage with her. Oh, she has one Pokemon, let's see what it is. It's Tropium! Wow. Now let's, with one Fire Blast, boosted by Blaze, it should be a solid one hit KO. And after this, we can search the ice rock. Baton pass. <laughs> we don't need helping hands. There are very few double battles where it will come in handy, so let's forget about it. Let's try to avoid as many battles as we can. And soon we should be able to reach the area we need to. Okay, got out of there. This eyesight. Oh, it's melee. Great. There's some lost stuff with this gym leader and the gym leader after that, which is interesting. Or at least implied. I don't know where it is implied. But I think it makes more sense if we get closer to that. Oh, um, Electro Buzz. Um, you can get Electro Buzz in this game. Um, that means you can also get E-Wire. One of the <laughs> worst Pokemon in this game. So a strategy what people used is when Electro Buzz evolves into E-Wire, its ability changes to Motor Drive. And if a Motor Drive Pokemon is hit by an Electric type move, it gets a speed boost. Instead of taking damage, it gets a plus one speed. So that is a strategy called Garawire, because Gyarados is two times weak to electricity, so people would switch into E-Wire and ab absorb an electric incoming predicted electric type move. It's a powerful strategy until you realize, yeah, it's it's bad. EVI is really bad. For some reason, I don't know why. Why? Oh, yeah. It cannot kill jack shit. <laughs> EVI cannot kill anything. If magma, you. 
Und McMortar kind of is impressive for some reason. It's NU, it's viable in OU. Um, I think we talked about how good Magma and McMortar is, but you cannot use McMortar in game without trading uh, Magma Rise the uh, Magma. And I think in game you can get away with a regular magma. As the unfortunate thing is magma lacks all the special moves. Magma uh, it would learn with an without egg move. But fire blast and um, with shots you can teach it thunder punch. And what does it learn? It's an okay HM slave. I think electric fire coverage is decent. And the thing about McMortar is it ha also has electric fire coverage. It's but its strongest electric move is Thunder Punch. Um Smogon recommends you use a uh, special attacking. A special attacking McMortar. The only set you find on S Spogon's website is ironically just a mixed attacker. Oh, we found here. It's hailing here already. Oh god. This should be rock climb. If and if we go back here. After finding rock climb, we get we can keep rock climb and we get another item. It's called it's the Arsois Ice Plate, which boosts reset moves by 20. The thing is, we already have never melt ice, so we don't necessarily need this. Um, but maybe we can sell it. And also, I think it's better to have this over. Never melt ice. You know, we found another rare candy, which will come in handy soon. We just need to let this weird guy pass. If we can manage to reach that area, can we heal him? Oh, we got a spell time. Okay. McMortar for some reason, from my experience, it has amazing coverage and still it cannot kill anything. It comes in, it off speeds and then what, 123 special attack, a uh, physical attack, 95 special attack I think it was, it has the same special attack as an um, Electabuzz. I don't understand. You still would prefer to use the. Uh, I think you still prefer. Would prefer to use. Special attack instead because you get Flamethrower as a TM option. Thunder. It has the uh, elemental punches. Cross chop. You can teach it Earthquake if you want an. Physical wall breaker, if you want, with choice band. I I would probably use a choice band set. Um, Smogong recommends something completely different: naughty with thunder punch, ice punch, flame server, and I think hidden power, grass or whatnot. Let's boost Glacian's stats a little bit more. Do we need anything else? As a problem is our Pokemon has been paralyzed. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to teach Rock Climb to something. 
and that someone is not in the team. We don't have a uh, Pokemon Bursi to learn Rock Climb yet. Glaceon needs an Ice type move. I don't know from the top of my head when it will learn any. But this is a good segue to talk about Glaceon because Glaceon might be the worst evolution. Ice is a good type offensively, but Glaceon doesn't have good coverage. Water Pulse, how do you get Water Pulse in this game for your in-game run? Competitively it's also not particularly good. Maybe you can do some... It. It's. I use a choice spec set I think with Ice Beam, um, Shadow Ball and Water Pulse and Baton Pass. Smorgon probably has also a pass set for Glaceon. Let's check it out. Yeah, the Choice Scarf set. Blizzard for sorry. What? I think it's recommended that you use it with a Balmer Snow. With Blizzard, Hidden Power Ground or Grass. And Baton Pass and Ice Beam or Shadow Ball for the last slot. And it has a PU set, but. I just I just use a similar set but without needing to use Obama Snow but maybe it they are just desperate. Glaceon has 130 special attack, you are desperate to deal damage with this thing. Um in game it will probably not do that well but now we have it in our team, but if we manage to teach it a nice set move, we will see how you will see firsthand how good it is. Mm, let's see if um, how it is and when it what move it learns. in platinum platinum so our um, glacier on this level is, uh, is 70 is 37 we missed out on oh no it doesn't learn anything useful now the next best move is ice fang we need Blizzard or Ice Beam, Petty M. And so that's a way we can teach it Ice Beam, but yeah, we are pretty much screwed, I think. Can teach it Shadow Ball, I guess. Might as well. And better to have any attacks than none at all. Excuse me. And let's get rid of Bite. Let me check where you can get Ice Beam. Um, it's TM13 I think. Uber P -Dia. can just hit it with a uh, aerial, aerial ace, this Kirlia. Did you know Kirlia has worse base stats than unknown? I just figured that out. So the location in Platin is good 216. Okay, it's where we are right now. Which is reassuring at least. But where? Where is it? Thank you. There too. We need a um, rock climb to reach it. So I think I know where it is exactly. 
but we need to beat the gym leader first to get permission to use rock line. Oh, it's seeking. Fuck yeah. Oh no, we couldn't defeat it. And it goes for Arguring, one of the worst moves in the game. <laughs> and it takes hail damage, so it this this move just offsets the hail damage, which is totally worth it. Should have gone for the head instead of wasting our turn. As we defeated Olivia. Oh yeah, we don't have the item. Um, Obama Snow. It's Snow. I don't know how good it will be, but you need to grind it to level 40. Maybe you can catch a world Obama Snow here. It's the only hail setter line this generation. But setting hail means you can spam Blizzard. Blizzard, Geek, um, Energy Ball, I think this decent things you can do this generation with it. And Smogon recommends you to use a physical attacking set with Ice Shards, Ice Punch, and Break Break. Focus, sub punch set, sword bands. I think the I prefer to use the leech seed in defensive support set, which just spams Blizzard. But again, each their own. Let's run away here. I think it's do you do you can use it in all you. It's a saving grace of ice types pretty much, but everything but ice types take damage from him, so you might be discouraged to actually use it. There's an infamous trade in this area, catch a medicham to trade it for a counter. It's everyone's favorite. Pokemon Trainer Whose name I forgot There's an entire subreddit dedicated to her She's She spawns some of the biggest memes in Pokemon history What's that shit? Um, there's Maylene She's freezing. And sh here we get the law that the ice type gym leader trains against fighting type Pokemon. Something she has disadvantage of just to make her Pokemon better. The dedication to get better at her job shows Makes it kinda interesting. I think she's a pretty cool gym leader. And also amazing design. I'm surprised not many people have her as her wife or whatever. I don't really care, I'm not into stuff like that, but um, every time a new Pokemon character is introduced it Regardless how uh, meh the design and waifu form is, people really hype characters up a lot. But the old Pokemon designs aren't as appreciated. I don't think it's because they are boring or anything. I think if she got a new design in Shining Pearl and... Then 
brilliant diamond, I think there would be more people who would hype about her. Because I recall Flannery getting a lot a lot of people excited when she was revealed with her new design. Maybe I'm misremembering. There's no uh, I think we are almost out of ice type po and fighting type coverage. I think Infernape should take care of the Pokemon here. Let's switch out. Oh, that's the wrong one. Infernape, switch with Son Goku. Let's talk to him. Oh, we have King Doof. We can teach the moves we need to King Doof. Oh, it's Pilot Swine. I think we talked about how great oh, Memo Swine is this generation. And um, Pilot Swine can. Uh, once it learned uh, Asian Power and levels up, it turns into Memo Swine and Memo Swine. It's like a truck, 130 physical attack and 80 base speed and ice shots, priority, it can learn ice fang but you probably don't use ice fang, super power, earthquake, stealth rock, some people even use endeavor on it, on the lead set, and then pick up a KO with ice shots. Oh yeah, it also learns Stone Edge because it's a ground type and ground types usually get um, rock, rock quakes coverage. It's also the substitute. People also use substitute on it. <laughs> Surprisingly good defensively. Despite being an ice type. And there's apparently a mixed attacking set with Blizzard. 70 base special attack doesn't strike me as a good Blizzard use. So. And there's also a set for Ubers, apparently, by Smogon recommended. The Stealth Rock, Earthquake, Ice Shards, and Endeavor. And competitively, I think even Pilot Swine is now viable. It has a UU set with choice. <laughs> Ice Shot, Earthquake, Ice Fang, Stone Edge. Next generation, it will get Eevee Light and get even better. I mean, Pilot Swine, not, not Memo Swine. And the evolution to Pilot Swine is level 33. You just need to re relearn. If you have a, a hard scale, which is easy, you can just relearn an Asian power. Blaley, Blaley is bad. You want to use a 50 base stat Pokemon across the board, you have to level it up to level 50, 42. Just to have up all across 80 base set ice mono ice set Pokemon for in game um Glady Smooth Pro is just too awful. But in game uh, I mean in game but competitively it is a bit better. And the reason for that is because it learns spikes, it learns explosion, it has ice shot which is priority. It learns Taunt, so it's a good lead. The next ge it generations after don't need leads, and because of team preview, it's a more predictable. So Glady is less useful. It's 
So you probably don't want to use Glady and Snowrand. Or maybe you do. Maybe you do want to have Snowrand in your team. But you don't want to have all of it to Glady. And to that we get once we see that particular reason. Let's go like this. I guess we cannot. <laughs> okay, how do we get out of here? Okay, we got rid of this one. Mm. Okay, we, I can destroy this ice thingy. This, is there anything? Yeah, we can destroy this I, snowball. We can move like this and this and I guess like this, 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 this. Uh, how do we do it? This is not enough. And let's fight him. Yes, two. There's no one we have. He hasn't evolved it. And then This gym and um, this gym is a bit more interesting in Diamond Pearl, these trainers use stuff like Pelipper or Bulldog or Quagsire or Rigid and um, Steelix. It's it's really mismatched. Also, because of the awful decks, uh, gym leaders use a few Pokemon that are not in the that are not the types they should specialize in. Um, more like like the gym leader we are about to fight, Candice, uses freaking Medicha Medicham. And yeah, and Faulkner would it eh, not Faulkner. Yes it's Faulkner. Would use a freaking A palm. Okay, we just need to get rid of this snowball. Get there, we need to get to this one snow spot. What do we do? Let me think. It's not like. Okay, close enough. Close enough. Yeah, yes, we are done. Just run straight forward towards him. And you can battle him. Her first Pokemon is Sneasel. Not a big deal, we can just rock smash it. Which is two times super effective. Even with the low base point and cover that stat, it should be a ceiling severe. Next up is Piloswine. Piloswine is surprisingly OP, we just fire blasted. We have Modest Nature, this is an easy kill. This generation, Piloswine doesn't have 
sick fat, so we don't need to worry about that. Next up is Frost Dust. This is if you have a female Snow Ram and give it a Dusk Stone, you get Frost Dust. And Frost Dust has one, t it's the same offense as Lady, but it is way, way faster. Uh, 110 speed. And instead of an Ice type, it is also a Ghost type. It learns the same moves. But it, because of the ghost type, it can take it's a better speed. It can take better advantage of the move pool Glalie is providing. As it said, you would use a uh, spike lead set with focus slash and spikes, ice event, shadow ball, and destiny bond. Uh, destiny bond is a ghost type move. If you are killed, you take your target with you. So you can play some mind games with your opponent. This is a move um, the lady cannot learn. Also you can learn Taunt, which is okay I guess. Um, in OU is it, it is banned because of the Snow Cloud clause, because it cannot have any other, um, other ability. And Snow Cloth is banned. It has been banned from OU tech by technicality. So you can only use it in Ubers. In game, I don't know how it would perform, but I think it will do fine. It's really fast. It has good offenses. You can just teach it in Shadow Ball as TM. And so can your Ice, ice Beam. It's pretty good. Her having a ghost type is a good way to compensate her matchups against fighting type Pokemon because fighting uh, ghost types are immune against fighting types, which is interesting. Which is a clever way to promote her. Now from here on. I think we just teach anything necessary to be doof. First rock climb. Let's free up some team slots. Zeno's dad will not be staying in our team for long. I'm fully aware of what I'm doing here. This is how it works. This is why you don't... Why you are pretty much having King Goof as your mandatory... In, in your team slot as a mandatory member. In this house we can... Medicham for Haunter. And she has an Everstone, so it's a Haunter is in the north. But still, having a mild Haunter with okay IVs for in game on, I think you st might still consider using it. If you consider using Haunter in your Let's Play, even if you don't want to evolve it. Oh, here you can find Pylon as well enough. But you still... Okay, you evolve it one level before getting what you want. I don't know if I want a Mammoth Swine right now. Did, we, you, did I use Mammoth Swine in my... Let's play retrospective of... What is it? What the... Of uh, black and white too. 
I think I did not. I'm purposely going further. That he has this kit. What does he have? It's Ethan. He has a scorpion. I just realized we still have Goku in the front. Maybe I should have swapped to Staraptor, but it's fine. We talked about Drapion. But we really need that Ice Beam, no? What does Swine Up have this early? That's what I'm curious of. Just finish this fight. Body check, I s Take down a shot, ice events, and a sludge move. Oh, why is this so fast? Oh, yeah. Our speed has been halved. halved. I think we can try catching one if we encounter again. Uh. A swine up level 32. It's only when it's 32 I consider catching it. And let Kamikaze handle this bat. Yeah, cutter, it's fine. Um, two area lasers should do the trick. Should I go for fly? Light is 90 base points in this generation, but I still go for area lanes. Wing attack, that's fine. We lowered its attack slot. And from this range, I think quick attack should do the trick. Cool sinker. Right in the uh, kneecap or whatever. There's a lot of care put into this. Still, it runs pretty badly. This trainer we haven't beaten. But for some reason, we didn't have an, an encounter, battle encounter for some reason. That's Garrett. And it, oh, it has a Mr. Mine. I hope with area lace we can just finish it off. We need to heal up in this uh, man cave. Because I see this, this residual damage is really taking a toll. Believe it or not. If we can get Mammoth Swine, there's a lot of advantage. Thinking about it, because it, it's one of few Pokemon that can take down Garchomp, and we catch one um, with Ice Shot immediately. Cipher, we talked about Cipher, pretty good Pokemon. I think you get it decent early when in game one. You don't even need to evolve it. Damage makes it really tasty. Napoleon finally reached level 4. Oh, 
Dust Clubs. Um, let's talk about Dust Clubs. In game, you probably don't want to run this thing. Because its offensive stats are awful, and if you want to evolve it, you need an item and trade it, because everything needs to be in a trade evolution. So, what do you get from using Dusk Noor? Uh, Dusk Noor is pretty bad. It's pretty much outclassed by Spirit Tomb, which we haven't talked about yet. We are about to die, so we might as well go for it. Area is. Our pursuit should take us down, but it should be. Wow. Okay, we die from the heal damage. Uh, Dusk Noor has 100 base attack. Yeah, we have Shadow Wall, let's just go for the problem. It's pretty slow. Um, Smogon pretty much recommends a choice band set with the elemental punches, Shadow Ball, maybe Earthquake or Trick. I think you can just run a defensive set too with, with Pain Split, Willow Wisp, and Stab if you want. Stab move being Shadow Sneak, because Ghost type Pokemon don't have good physical attacking options. And maybe a punching move of your choice. Did they change anything? No. Smogon recommends a uh, Expert Belt or Costa Berry Offensive Spin Blocker. Well, it's a set. Thinking about it, yeah, you can just use the uh, fire defensive set for this. I'm just looking at the black and white set because I was wondering where's the little wisp paint split set because um, Dusk Noor has insane bulk, but it has awful attack instead at uh, HP, so you gain a lot of uh, from paint splits pretty much. And with Will of Wisp, you can just wear down your opponent and maybe you teach it. What is it called? Confuse Ray, but it's pretty much luck based moves and Smoke doesn't like to recommend these kinds of things normally. Let's rock climb here. I think Dusk Noir is pretty bad. I think it's even worse than Evaya, but I think the advantage is because it's a ghost type, and ghost types spin block, because rapid spin is the only way you get rid of hazards, it's already better. The more I think about it, the more I want to use Memo's <laughs> So, so good. Maybe because I never use them so I know. in game run. Right? I don't know if I ever used a pilot swing. But with this, we beat two horses with one stone, I guess. The thing is, if we get, if we get Pylos Swing, we need a, we need an item to move remind the Asian pole because otherwise it doesn't learn Asian pole. Go for oh, it goes for protect. I wonder if we have any hard skills. I wonder a lot um, today. Maybe I'm not gonna use a 
pilot swing. It sounds like a lot of inconvenience, but payback and the amount of reward you're getting for the amount of effort you put in sounds worth it. If I say that. It's the least, but we want to. It's just to make it more efficient. But we have invested so much time on Glaceon that I don't really feel like it's. We should go and catch a freaking swine up, even if there's some benefit to it. Let's close combat here. Oh, priority eye shot, nice. Let's finish it off with a good fist fight. Classic. Uh, that is icy. This should be ice beam. Okay, okay, this is mental health. This should be Ice Beam. That's P HP. Okay, it's HP up. Okay, this has to be Ice Beam. Oh no, it's not a 2 item. I think we pick both up anyway, so it doesn't really matter. The question is what is what? Is what? Aerial AC. Would you, would you? So what is this? It's max potion, so the last one has to be ice beam. And let's waste no time and just immediately teach it. Just fly back. I think we do that. Do we battle this this trainer? I hope you have something we haven't seen because we need to fill the decks to have stuff for the post game. Okay, we have seen swine up. Waste of time. I don't know how many team slots we have technically available to allow swine up to me. So I'm taking the plunge. We fly. We catch a swine up if we encounter it. It needs to have a decent enough nature to make it worth using. 
then I'm gonna use it. Now let's see, who is this? It's Snowra. So here you can catch Snowrun. It's a, the male ones are pretty much useless. And you don't want to use Glady. You don't want to use Glady. And here, normally you don't area has no rock climb area but platinum just added it it makes kind of sense in a weird way and there's a reaper cloth which you can use to evolve your dust clubs into dust no but because we have nobody we can trade with that option is gone And there's Jupiter. I hope we can just end this boring dialogue scene. We go to him, to Dragon Super Saxons and talk to him until he leaves, I think. So let me just go and just fly. We did not encounter spine up which is fine we don't need it we have glaceon we don't need more ways to beat dragon types and ice types and ground types would be nice if we could outspeed the guard chunk but Garchomp has Brick Break, which is already pretty difficult to handle, I think. There's this guy. And we found Luca. I really don't like this guy, to be honest. I think it's okay to have someone from the national police. So if you've been wondering what this item is, I just I just the essence to get. If you have a Snorlax, you can get its full essence. You can get Munchlax. You are not using Munchlax in this game. And this generation is a slow decline of Snorlaxes, you would say. That's a prominent OU Pokemon. You can obviously use the standard choice band set with Fire Punch, Earthquake, Explode, Self Destruct. Maybe you want to use uh, a curse set where you just curse, heal up, and do stuff with that. Your Belly Drum set. What does Smogon recommend. You are not using small legs in game, I'm telling you. You have to invest a lot of time to get uh munch leg munch leg munch munch legs uh, spawning. And um, one of the sets are obviously the sick fat having choice bent set or rather offense set because they also recommend leftovers. If return or body slam, pursuit, earthquake and crunch or fire bla fire punch. And offensive curse legs with curse return crunch and earthquake or fire punch. Classic curse legs. 
similar deal, but with rest was last slot. Just um yeah. And take these items all sync, nice. Yeah, like this one. In the original Diamond Pearl, we already engaged in a double battle here. Um, they change it up a little, I think. Found out nice. There's also a Rest Talk set, which has Whirlwind as in its most sense. Snorlax can learn Whirlwind. If you haven't known already. Are there any essence left? I don't recall. Oh yeah. And the essence. Uh, no, no new essence. And Rob of Fat works the same as Generation um, 3. You trap and then kill something. With Shadow Tag, its moveset hasn't changed a little bit. And the only difference is now that sh Shadow Tag cannot. Uh, shadow tag and um, trap shadow tag Pokemon and the main the flaw of um, struggle has been fixed. So for Gen 4 I think exclusively if you struggle you only lose one a bit of your health and leftovers from Boba Fett would normally hit kill it away and if you have a Wobbuffet Wobbuffet match up they would never kill each other. Uh, you have an infinite battle and that flaw has been fixed through numerous means. In Ubers and um, Smog on Ubers in Gen 3 um, Shadow Tag Wobbuffet is banned with leftovers. It's the only uh, complex ban I think in that tier. But in Gen 4 Ubers it's alone. It's still Ubers because Shadow Tag is broke. And Boba Fett has no other abilities. And because of that, why not is also banned. Let's take this. Snatch. I think there's no essence Pokemon left. I know why not a like Gen 3 Pokemon, so the essence already existed, but if we talk about Pokemon that get baby Pokemon with essence, might as well complete the line. As we have finished... What is it called? What's this? Finish... Um, the Meryl line. I'm not gonna talk about them. And is there a reason to talk about any other Pokemon? Maybe we can talk about the legendary beasts. Or let's talk about the one that's easiest to explain. Suicune is amazing as always. The Crocoon set is really popular with a Calm Mind Rest. I just, I for the Crocoon set with Calm Mind Surf and Rest Talk is a standard Crocoon set, and some people instead of Rest Talk just use War. I think. Uh, the offensive Calm Mind set is a thing with Calm Mind, Ice Beam, Hydro Pump and Hidden Power Electric. Is there anything else? There's a substitute set which is new to me, which also uses Calm Mind and Surf and Ice Beam. So all sets from Suicune is with Calm Mind in Generation and 
generation 4. And I think in every generation since Cow Might existed, you probably want to use Cow Might on Suicune. Because it has a book to take advantage of it. And to set up multiple of it. Unlike the other legendary beast, Raikou, which also uses a cow mindset, but probably not that appealing. Let's just finish up the scan. And Raikou's cow mindset has cow mind protect set, which heals up some of its HP while you boost its stats. And it has the bolt beam coverage with Thunderbolt and Hidden Power Ice. There's the Chukaberry set, which is exclusive uh, to the event Raikou. You cannot get in normal in by catching one in hard gold or soul silver because it has Aurosphere, which is event exclusive and it always has to be rash. If Thunderbolt, Aurosphere, Shadow Ball or Calm Mind and Hidden Power Ice or Grass. That's not a problem. And um, the lead attacker, which also uses the uh, shiny Raikou, event Raikou with Thunderbolt, Oversphere, Hidden Power, Ice, and Extreme Speed. Extreme Speed is also event exclusive. Raikou cannot learn this move by itself. And the last legendary beast is Entei. This generation, even still the worst of the three. Entei doesn't get good before it gets Sacred Fire from ho -Oh. Because all its... And even then it's still... You still want to have the event Entei because only the event Entei has extreme speed. Because Entei's moveset is so awful. It has 115 attacks at its best, best offensive stat. And you cannot take advantage of it. Extreme Speed and Flare Blitz are both event exclusive. And you want both, or at least Extreme Speed. Although the standard set, uh, all usually all sets, you would expect the physical attacker. A physical attacker has to have the event entry. And which is Flare Blitz, Extreme Speed. Stone Edge and our coverage move of your ch a hidden power. Grass is smog recommended. I would just slap a rest talk on it. And in the next generations onwards, you will just slap. What is it called? Sacred Fire. Now, what what do you do if you don't have an event in play? Smogon has covered you on that in Generation 4. You have the sub cow mindset with substitute cow mind, flamethrower or fire blast or hidden power grass or hidden power electric. You have the sunny day set which has sunny day, solar beam, cow mind and fire blast. It's every lace here. The Mix Calm Mind Attacker, which has Fire Blast, Calm Mind, Hidden Power Grass, and Stone Edge. The Mono Attacker, which is a defensive Calm Mindset like um, Suicune has. It's basically Gen 4 on Masui Krokun, because Skull doesn't exist in Gen 4, but Lava Plume does. And Entei uses the same set, but with Lava Plume instead of Scold. With this we covered the legendary beasts. And the Latis are banned. A Latio Latias got unbanned. Because you can just spam Draco Meteor. 
it, it hits way too hard. The courage moves of the Lattes is on a whole different level. What's this? Sludge bomb, we don't really need this. But this is what we need. The Galactic Key. With this we can escape from here. We can open quite a few doors. The one we couldn't open, we can also open. After this we have to heal. Let's talk about the Martis. Um, Dragon Spam is way too powerful. It's so powerful that Latias and Latios were really hard to handle. Latios especially because it has more attack. A Calm Mind Hidden Power Fire. Which is kind of funny because Fire and Dragon Coverage is really disgusting and pretty hard to resist. We have a few Pokemon resistors. As the Latis can both learn Surf, both can learn Calm Mind, both can learn Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, I think even Energy Ball, Grass Knot, Recover, <laughs> Thunder, I think uh, both are usable in Ubers. Both can set up dual screens and Latios got Momento, which is insane, you can set screens, then sacrifice your Latios and get a safe switch in to a setup sweeper. Smogon even has a dragon mixed dragon a dragon dance <laughs> for some reason, but it's a special attacker. Why? <laughs> it's too insane. Special attacking Dragon Dance Latios. It's that insane. A Latios has the same advantages. It also has track. It both have track and breast talks as options. Both can learn Roar, both can learn Thunder Wave, both can learn Earthquake if you need to. The only thing Latios, ha Latios has over Latios is Healing Witch, yeah, where you sacrifice Latios itself to get a safe switch in and fully heal the Pokemon that comes in. Yeah, to maybe a set of sweepers that failed to sweep and it's crippled. You can heal it and get another try. Uh, that's a appeal of Latias over Latias. Both benefit from Soul Do, which makes them viable in Ubers. Because up to Gen 6, what Soul Do did is boost, give a permanent Calm Mind boost to your Latias and Latios if they are holding it. So it's uh, an assault vest and choice specs in one item and it's permanent. It's a permanent boost. I think that's, that says a lot about the power these two Pokemon have. And Dragon is only resisted by Steel this generation and it hits everything else neutrally and drain types for super effective damage and Draco Meteor is 140 base power this generation so nothing is safely switching into this thing these things absolutely bonkers I think we pretty much covered, okay, this is kind of different. Here we have the double battle for some reason. So they expanded this area, I guess. I don't mind. Let's see how it goes. There's the mm. double go bat. We lead with these two. Powerhouses. I realize here and just 
blast them, I guess. So I started blasting here. Uh, I think we can area ace. Two area ace should be enough. Getting as little turns for these two as possible may be a good idea. Looking if we can talk about anything random here. Maybe what's with Is there anything we definitely will not be able to catch? A six goon you cannot catch. It has a belly drum. Extreme speed seek bomb return belly drums. <laughs> a belly drum extreme speed is really good, but it's you're not gonna you unless you play by smog on smog on simulator. You're not. You're likely not getting access to extreme speed because it's Gen 3 Bo um, Ruby Sapphire box exclusive. But if you can get it, it's it's pretty good. Otherwise, there's no reason to use lining. So that was quite fast. Um, if you could access this in game, I think it's fine as a pickup Pokemon like Aimbipon. I think Aimbipon gives you more mileage because of its um, better stats and more flexible move pool. Dispatch the, these four dog trainers. Can we just go directly? Okay, this. Okay. Let's see what we can get here. Get this item. It's green shot. I guess it's okay. I don't know if. We get enough shards to get certain TMs, TM moves that can come in handy. But there's no harm in collecting them, I think. Okay, let's confront Cyrus. Or we beat up this guy. Let's see what he has. A Porygon too. Okay, you can get Porygon in this game. But both evolutions are trade evolutions. A Porygon has two really good abilities. For one, Trace. As you see, Porygon just helped. A Mado's our attack stat weaker. A Porygon also has ability and um, download which boosts a at special attack or attack randomly depending on your defense stat compared to its uh, one itself. I don't know, I remember how it exactly works, but Porygon usually uses a defensive stat and um, set with recover, bolt beam coverage and toxic. But this charge as both being like ice beam or thunderbolt and thunderbolt or discharge. There are other gimmicky things you can do. Maybe give it a stab and try attack. It has a new evolution, which is Porygon 2. And it flips from Having a pretty good defense, being a pretty good defensive Pokemon into a powerhouse offensive threat. It has 890 speed, which I didn't know. I thought it was just 80 base speed, and 135 special attack. And its ability is download and adaptability. Download obviously boosting random st 
attacks that, but you can gain a good special attack boost, so if you're lucky, but you don't need it. With download, uh, with adaptability, you turn your, instead of 1.5 you get double stat bonus. So your try attack hits insanely hard. You can run a choice scout set with trick. For some reason Smogon doesn't trick him. Has really cut down the recommendation, the move recommendations for Polygon C here. Uh, they recommend an offensive set with try attack hyper beam ground, a uh, hidden power ground. Dark Pulse and instead of Hyper Beam you can also use Nasty Plot. But I remember using a Trick Set. <laughs> trick Set, um, Dark Pulse, Ice Beam or instead of Dark Pulse, Thunderbolt and Tri Attack. There are a few things you can do with Polygon Z but I think Smogon is not really... I think it can learn Agility, can it? You can just... Instead of nasty, instead of boosting your already insane special attack, you can boost your speed and just sweep it. Maybe do a double dance, I don't know how effective it would be. But if you get the chance, why not? Right. Oh, there's a Pokédoll. Can we sleep here? Yeah, we can. There's a Pokédoll and... Wait, this is a good touch. Is there... You can sleep. <laughs> Someone has been sleeping with a Pokeball game. Yeah, they added more trainers. After beating Cyrus and Slatoon, I think we end the recording. Do they have anything new? They don't. It's Krogon, like always, it's, it's gun tank as always. So in game I would not recommend Polygon C, a uh, Polygon because you need to trade and you need these items and I don't know when you get upgrade, we got it, I recall we had it before fighting the ghost gym and the last evolution item we just received last episode or this episode I'm not so sure let's rock smashing That's what. Um, ice fan, we don't need any more ice dragons because we need uh, we have what we need. Okay, grog Krogon and Glamio. I think we can we can finish rock this up. And area is this lot and rock smash this lot. I'm glad they don't have any fake out users anymore. We pretty much finished them all. Now we can area aerialize this slot and this should seal the deal.
I think I call it just Furby. Do you have any good stand? It's brave, it's useless. Okay, we are not gonna use Ryulu this round. I'm glad we gave it a bad name. Okay, are you ready? guy talks. I think just beating this guy should be enough. I'm ending the recording after beating him. So you, you can start strong with beating Saturn again. Kamikaze should just close combat this thing to oblivion. Sneeze. This is a quite a fast sneeze. I did not expect him to outspeed our Kamikaze. We got an unnecessary crit. Crawband? Yeah, Cutter. Okay, if Sneeze will outspeed us, then Robert will definitely outspeed us. I guess it has better special attack. Swap to Napoleon. Now this problem is we are getting outsped, but we have a decent amount of defense to take this hit. I think we should one hit KO it. I assume. Yes. Nice. Well, that's a good start. First impression. Great. Punch Girl, not so great. Hopefully it doesn't have super power. Hope we outsped the Hunch Girl. Then it's dead. There's no way Hunch Girl, despite having massive HP, is gonna survive this. Nicely done. And we should get the Master Ball. We can use it to catch one of the annoying roaming Pokemon. The question is what do we want to catch? It reminds me. I think that was the stage uh, where Cyrus had his speech. Is there anything useful? I don't seem like it. It's just a uh, empty area. Kinda disappointed. What do we try to beat? Oh yeah. Hmm. I think we can just finish off our bang. Yeah, I think this is enough. I will continue next episode, I will just heal my Pokemon and then we'll 
continue this quest. Thanks for joining and see you next time. Goodbye.